Emmanuel Macron. Emmanuel Macron. Emmanuel Macron described us as disgusting, cynics, and irresponsible. And here, the Italian press began to ask, Did you hear what Macron said about us? He said, We're irresponsible. What a shame. The irresponsible Emmanuel Macron are those who bombed Libya because they were concerned that Italy would obtain important energy concessions with Gaddafi and left us facing the chaos of illegal immigration we are facing now. The cynics, Emmanuel Macron, are the French who send the military to return any immigrant trying to cross the border in Ventimiglia. And most of all, and because things have to be said right, disgusting. Disgusting is France that continues to exploit Africa by printing money to 14 African countries, charging them mint fees. And by child labor in the mines and by extracting raw materials, as is happening now in Niger, where France extracts 30% of the uranium it needs to run its nuclear reactors while 90% of Niger's population lives without electricity. Do not come to teach us lessons, Macron. The Africans are abandoning their continent because of you. The solution is not to transfer Africans to Europe, but to liberate Africa from some Europeans. We will not accept lessons from you. Is that clear? This is about what we're doing here today. Why is the family an enemy? Why is the family so frightening? There's a single answer to all these questions. Because it defines us. Because it's our identity. Because everything that defines us is now an enemy. For those who would like us to no longer have an identity and to simply be perfect consumer slaves. And so they attack national identity. They attack religious identity. They attack gender identity. They attack family identity. I can't define myself as an Italian, Christian, woman, mother, no. I must be citizen X, gender X, parent one, parent two. I must be a number. Because when I am only a number, when I no longer have an identity or roots, then I will be the perfect slave at the mercy of financial speculators. The perfect consumer. That's the reason why. That's why we inspire so much fear. That's why this event inspires so much fear. Because we do not want to be numbers. We will defend the value of the human being. Every single human being. Because each of us has a unique genetic code that is unrepeatable. And like it or not, that is sacred. We will defend it. We will defend God, country, and family. Those things that disgust people so much. We will do it to defend our freedom because we will never be slaves and simple consumers at the mercy of financial speculators. That is our mission. That is why I came here today. Chesterton wrote more than a century ago. Let me see if I can find it. Fires will be kindled to testify that two and two make four. Swords will be drawn to prove that leaves are green in the summer. That time has arrived. We are ready. Thank you.